Thank you for seeing me today. Uh, our today's exercises, uh, today's session is for back. So pain, full, back, uh, ache, uh, stiff, tight, sore. Um, all these problems we can, we can cure doing this simple um, session of a uh, you can see it's a Pilates, you can say it's yoga, whatever you like. It's just the general simple exercises to release the stiffness and tightness from the back and also uh, giving a movement to the hips and back to, to feel, feel energized, feel good, feel free and feeling movable and feeling agile. So let's start. Um, stay calm, stay relaxed and just, just see you enjoying the session. Okay, so lying on the back first. Good. Um, feet and knees are hip width apart, and I just want you to turn your arms slightly out. Shoulders are staying relaxed. So uh, let's just feel our spines are neutral. So the neutral is when you have a little curve under your lumbar spine and feel our hips are parallel to the floor. Uh, uh, just to check normally parallel. Feel that tip of your tailbone is touching onto the floor and you're maintaining that curve. Now we're pulling the tummy in, relaxing the head. So head's in the center and we're pointing our chin slightly to release the neck. So neck or shoulders are not very tight. Uh, breathing in, breathing out first for a few, so just feeling comfortable. So in through your nose and exhale as you're blowing the candle. Inhale again. And now we're doing a few ha breathing. So it's inhale through the nose. So that relaxes the nervous system, that relaxes the muscles and the tension in the body. So we're doing four more breathing. Beautiful. Three more. Inhale. And make a sound. Beautiful. Two more. And that relaxes the nervous um, system, the nervous and tension in the hip and the back. So just last one, and tension in the whole body. Last one. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, so feeling we're still keeping a tummy in this time, and we're keeping our pelvic floor engaged. Shoulders are staying relaxed, and we're turning the legs to the right slowly. Good. So not too much at the start first, as your body's a uh, sort of. Uh, started moving okay so exhale and we're coming back to the center inhale we're turning legs to the left keeping head in the center and keeping neck and the shoulder relaxed and exhale we're bringing back to the center now uh, the beauty of these exercises you can breathe in and out through your nose if you want you can in through your nose out through your mouth and exhale and back and if your nose is blocked you can breathe in and out both through your mouth okay so it's okay to breathe as you feel. Exhale and bring back. So inhale, turn, knees to the right. Just slowly start adding a little bit more stretch. Exhale, bring your legs back to the center. And as we breathe in, we're turning legs to the left. And as we exhaling, bringing back. So if you ask my suggestion, inhale, turn, knees to the right. And now this time, turn your head to the left, slowly. And breathe out, bring your legs back and head back to the center. So turning knees to the left, head to the right. Now if you ask my suggestion, you can in through your nose, out through your mouth. And the best breathing is you in and out both through your nose. Okay, so let's just exhale and bring back. So remember we're turning head to the opposite side. So if your knees are turning to the left, head to the right. And exhale, bring back. As your knees turning to the right, just start feeling free on your back and turn and exhale and back so just last one breathing in um, start adding a little bit more movement okay so just feeling free feeling comfortable feeling connected inhale exhale and breathing in turning excellent beautiful and breathe out and bring back okay so both feet and knees are staying hip width apart and we're lifting both arms straight up at 90 degree Palms are facing each other, pulling the shoulder. 
like I said, focus pulling the tummy, engaging the core, spine still staying neutral. Now this time as we exhaling, we're taking the right leg down and reaching the left arm above the head, drawing the ribs, firming the tummy and keeping the core engaged. So it's just inhale, we're bringing back. Now I want you to slide your left leg straight down and reach the right arm. So normally just stretching the body, uh, it's sort of preparing our mind and body. So it's just alternating arm and leg. We're using a bilateral uh, stimulation with the right and left or left or right um, hemisphere of the uh, brain. So right and left brain, we alternating breathe out as we're reaching. So try to stretch, but when you're stretching, I want you to draw your ribs and feel you're pulling your tummy. Inhale and back. So it's exhale, we're stretching. Inhale and back. Exhale, we're stretching. Inhale and back. A few more. And back. Okay, so just do one more. And back. Okay, so now let's join knees together, feet together. And then just exhale, slide both legs and both arms. We're going to hold this time. You see, I'm not touching my hands down. What I'm trying to do is, is draw my ribs and firm my tummy. And that helping me by stretching my whole body. So we can flex the feet. And as arms are getting better, you can start lowering your arms a little further down. But the focus is keeping back neutral, not letting tummy rise and keep drawing the ribs in. You can spread your arms, but in case if you have any shoulder injury or uh, if you feel tight in the shoulder and chest, you don't have to. You can just keep your arms here for a little while, a little more. So just one or two more breaths. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. This last one. Good. Okay, so let's just make a circle with your arms like as you're sweeping the floor and then just slide your both legs back. Perfect, beautiful. All right, so feet and knees staying hip width apart, just sort of a single leg or a back stretch, knee to chest. So feel that knee and hip staying uh, aligned, and we're bringing leg towards us and placing both hands behind the leg. So staying very comfortable, draw the ribs slightly, uh, feel stomach is soft, and also feel there is a little curve under the lumbar spine. So if I slide my hand there is a space my hip is parallel and then i'm keeping my hands here so some people doing this stretch i'll show you the wrong way first so they're just going like this just pulling very hard uh, because it's releasing the tightness from the back and hip we're not forcing and we're maintaining a neutral spine so we don't crush our vertebrae uh, in uh, uh, intervertebral disc. Uh, so just keep a hip aligned. You feel the hips are staying parallel and even. It's not about how hard we pull, it's about making ourselves comfortable and connecting. So sort of feel like that lengthening is happening in the hip and that's just going to release the, the nerves and the tight muscles around the hip and that will help uh, releasing tightness in the back as well. I want you to keep the shoulder relaxed, chin slightly pointing, and feel jaws are relaxed, face are relaxed, so just a gentle smile on your face. You can keep your eyes a half open, half closed, and just staying comfortable with yourself, so not very harsh on you, so uh, just gentle on you. Uh, just the self-loving, self-care, breathing in, breathe out. In through your nose, out through your nose, in through your nose, or out through your mouth. So it's a whichever a breathing work for you. Good one. Okay. So let's just lower the leg down. Nice. Okay. So first of all, give a little time to shake the hip. Feel both hips are parallel. Feel stomach is soft, pulling in tight, and bring the left leg now. And making sure left leg, left knee staying aligned, and hands underneath your leg not up on the top. Now when here, you can just relax your foot. Good. Feel the hips are staying parallel. Let go the shoulder and uh, 
keep the neck and shoulders relaxed just breathing in breathing out staying calm and relaxed breathing breathing so not pulling leg towards you think with the in the mind in the brain you're releasing that tightness from your brain so just uh, the tightness is in the brain because we are scared and fearful it also continuously working uh, exerting we get tight and stiff so think uh, we we're trying to keep the neutral spine paddle hip we're keeping our breathing smooth and soft and comfortable so you feel, we feeling calm and while we calm we relax we releasing the tightness uh, from the nerves and releasing the fear letting go of the fear and that helping increasing our, our range of movement our flexibility feeling comfortable good okay so holding the left leg as it is this time now and I want you to bring the right leg up as well so feel feet and knees are slightly apart not together hands again are behind here let go of the feet to so just try to relax you feel hips are still parallel we're not touching the lower back ribs are staying in and just gently pulling the legs and again if you don't feel like pulling don't do it uh, if you already started feeling the stretch so the focus here is always as we inhaling um, you you keep holding so I'll show you so as you as you inhaling you're pushing that tailbone down there and as you exhale sort of maintain that and allow to stretch a little bit more so just release in the brain and feel my back is getting better I am getting better I am feeling comfortable and I'm controlled okay so elbows are down a little bit let go of the shoulder feeling happy feeling comfortable and just feel like we enjoying we are celebrating a good life good health breathing in and breathing out breathing in and breathing out so just one more okay so relax the feet down now okay so neutral spine ribs in from the tummy and now the next stretch is a 90-90 so, uh, so bring the leg up so 90 degree here and then a 90 degree here so interlock your fingers here relax the shoulder so very calm and relax if your hamstrings are tight don't force too much and always remember we maintaining the neutral spine so just exhale slowly extending the leg good inhale bend the legs so just before you sort of start feeling the stretch on the back of your leg you come back again so just breathe out go up again slowly and breathe in and back always remember we're not compromising with the back so just to to add a stretch we are not forcing too much uh, we're not applying too much force onto the stretch inhale and back so if you're sort of feeling you're shaking and if your spine is sinking down your hips are curling that's all a wrong sign so maintaining hip and knee at 90 or, or a line that's good okay so just uh, last one it's exhale we extending and holding this time so see even I'm not stretching to show you do the right thing and it's not to show up okay so holding here and let just breathe out flex your foot breathe in point your foot breathe out flex your foot and breathe in point your foot same again so it's just releasing the tight um, tight um, nervous or neural junction and that's just like a wiring in our body uh, that's get tight that's uh, get to problems with a stiff back and uh, stiff hips it's a, such a good exercise uh, at releasing uh, your SI joint uh, pain and imbalanced hips okay so just last one it's breathe out we flexing the foot and breathe in we pointing the foot bending the leg slowly and just lower your foot down perfect so just rest a little bit feeling both hips are aligned and even and now we're lifting the left leg up on the tabletop 
perfect now interlock now just remember uh, not both legs are always even so if you have to modify you can modify now don't pull leg too much towards you we're keeping that leg 90 degree now let's just engage your core engage your pelvic floor prepare yourself and let's just breathe out and extend your leg breathe in and bend your leg slowly so as we extending we're not forcing too much as we inhaling we're coming back we focusing our hips are still parallel and spines are still neutral good exhale extend inhale and bend exhale and extend inhale and bend now i promise you uh, doing these exercises on a regular basis you're going to feel really really comfortable very flexible and very very nice in your back and hips so exhale we extending the leg inhale we bending exhale we extending and inhale we bending two more just two more so every time you extend feel you zipping up the pelvic floor inhale bending the leg last one so just be holding the leg here not forcing remember if your leg started getting shaky that's a sign you're doing too much so hold inhale again engage your core as you exhale you flex your foot inhale you point your foot exhale you flex your foot inhale you point now you feel might feel stretch at the back of your calf there or maybe in your hip or sometimes uh, people have a tightness in the back of the neck back of the shoulder so just all trying to relax and enjoying this stretch good so we call this exercise a neural gliding and what we're doing is we're just gliding and and making the neural uh, system as I said it's like a wiring inside the body uh, electric wires it's, uh, send the impulse uh, from one point to another point um, they get stiff tight good and also maybe my sometimes the myofascial shift with the uh, the layer in between your muscle and the skin okay that get tight so that's just also again helping this myofascial uh, shed to release so keep the foot flex for a little bit hold the stretch bend the leg and let's rest beautiful very good so you're doing very good okay so I just want you to bring your feet and knees together now ribs are staying in firming the tummy arms are staying slightly out and feeling our hips both are even so we're now inhaling, turning both knees out slowly and we're letting our feet turn too. And as we're exhaling, we're bringing knees back slowly. Perfect. Okay, so doing a few more, inhaling. So when we're doing this stretch, we're doing some moving or movement first and exhale and back. And then we are, are stretching. Uh, but can be a different exhale and back. That we can hold the passive stretch we can um, we can move the body and free the body doing some active movement and it's all the type of stretches so inhale turning the knees up and think that the outside the buttocks squeezing and that helping releasing the inside of the legs so exhale and back so stretch for the groin stretch for the inner thighs exhale and back just two more keeping the tummy and keeping the back neutral with this stretch if you're not aware your back tend to arch so I want you to feel you keeping your back neutral and keep focusing exercising pulling your tummy in so just maintain a neutral spine so last one we're turning the knees up and now we're joining the sole of the feet together beautiful and I want you to place your hands gently up onto your inner thighs not to push but just to feel we are with the hands we just sort of uh, as we assessing the tightness uh, we're doing is all we're doing is we relaxing softening and with each exhalation we're letting go with the inhalation we are checking our alignment checking our tummies in checking our ribs in and spines in neutral so it's inhale exhale inhale exhale <coughs> I'm sorry it's so just inhale exhale just relax try to let go your hips and your knees so 
know, so with the each exhalation feel your body sort of making room to move a bit more. With the inhalation, you are, are making a body align, so you're aware with the alignment. Deep breathing and feel there is no and any other thoughts are going on. You're very calm and relaxed. Uh, there's no judgment going on what's going to happen next, what's next stretch or uh, I should be doing this every day and all that. Just just be in now, so just enjoying a little more of your uh, now. And if you enjoy now, you're obviously going to enjoy your future. Good. Not being fearful. It uh, doesn't matter how lives are going, uh, but just finding a little time every now and then, just uh, snapping out from your uh, worries from the, the future and from the past and seeing what I am doing in the present moment in the now. So what you're doing in the present, you'll be doing in the, in the future. So just try to release. And um, if you're watching and if you're doing it, that means you are in the right track. You're, you should be very grateful, thankful to the mind and very grateful, thankful to the body for telling you to look after yourself. Okay, so slide your hands inside and you just slowly bring your legs back, giving a time. That's beautiful, very good. Okay, so I just want you to let's just slide your right leg down, so left foot is coming up onto the shin, uh, making sure not onto the knee joint, just slightly below your knee joint. That's very good. Okay, so keeping a tummy in and arms out slightly, slowly. So this time, as we're breathing out, we're turning that left knee towards to the right hip. Yes, you have to lift or peel the left hip slightly off the floor. And that's good. Head staying in the center, keeping a tummy in and exhale and bring back where we first started. So it's inhale, returning leg slowly to the right side. And as we exhale, we're bringing back to the center. Let's just inhale, turning again. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Your shoulder is your gauge if your shoulder want to rise up, lift up, that means we're doing too much. Exhale and bring back. Good. So also helping um, uh, hip internal rotators. And exhale and back. So last one this time. So just inhale, we're turning to the right. Just the one side only, keeping the tummy in. And this time we're keeping the head in the center here keeping the shoulder and we're holding this stretch for at least three breaths. Now, uh, if there is a feeling of a cramp, all you have to do is just to reduce the stretch a little bit, okay? The same again, uh, if there is a pain in the body, there is a disease in the body, uneasiness or tightness, stiffness in the body, all is, um, your body is doing is trying to communicate with you uh, to you or uh, reaching up to you uh, to find uh, the way you start looking after yourself a bit more and uh, uh, you're doing that so just uh, recognize and talk to your body I'm here and I'm looking after you and and, and see find that harmony and and uh, connection and love back with yourself okay bring the leg back nice all right so I want you to lower your left leg down if you're feeling comfortable and right heel up onto your shin making sure not onto the knee joint so making sure not onto the knee joint and not onto the thigh either but just keep it onto the shin okay so engage your tummy first pull the tummy engage your pelvic floor shoulders are staying relaxed you're feeling happy now let's turn slowly leg to the left side this time uh, so we're stretching our right side back and hip. Okay, bring the leg back slowly. Nice. So inhale, turning. So see the right side hip is rising and lifting up and returning. And as we exhale, we're bringing back. 
Remember, we're moving with the movement. We're freeing our body, freeing our hips, freeing our back. Exhale and back. I feel comfortable. And see, always remember repetition and continuity uh, does the job. Okay, so uh, doing the right things. Um, and uh, repetition means is uh, repeating again and again every day to do something right. Okay, turn again. And I just want you to hold here for good breath. Good. Inhale, exhale. One more breath and bring the leg back to the center beautiful okay so lower your foot down and bring the other leg as well so just both legs are bending and now I want you to bring your right ankle up onto your left knee so just very comfortable now hips are staying parallel and I want you to place your right hand onto your right knee so not pushing with the hand so just the hand again just there as a gauge hips are staying parallel feel that tailbone is still touching there's a still little curve under the lumbar spine tummy in and feel we squeezing this buttock there and just gently turning that knee out to stretch good staying relaxed and calm inhale exhale so these are our best stretches to release uh, uh, the hip pain, back pain, sciatic, uh, uh, tight and, and sore uh, lower back and, and hips. So just really, really good exercises. You keep breathing in and out, deep. Good. And make yourself comfortable. See that breathing is helping releasing the tension. And also with the breathing, with the deep breathing, the conscious breathing, we helping strengthening our lungs and heart helping strengthening and uh, making our respiratory making our cardiovascular system making our, our circulatory system good okay so holding as it is and we're bringing the left leg and a hand to behind the left leg so i just want you to again feel it's not about how close you can pull. It's about maintaining that neutral spine there and a paddler hip, so not pulling too much. Now, if you can't do this stretch uh, comfortably, all you can do is just grab um, uh, some strap. You can get a tie, or you can just get a little towel to 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 hold on to that stretch. Good. So inhale, exhale. Good. So. Uh, people are very flexible uh, the thing is uh, you might not feeling any stretch but uh, with the awareness all you can do is uh, create a stretch for you so how are you going to create that stretch uh, I want you to feel first you're turning that knee out and then think you you're clinching and tightening that buttock your right buttock with your awareness you are engaging your pelvic floor pulling the tummy and then Every time you breathe in, you, you push the tailbone back to the floor. And as you breathe out, you're pulling the leg towards you. And the leg going, pushing away from you. So just working against each other. It's not about curling the back, rolling the back and pulling leg close to you. Not showing off again. But just creating nice lengthening in the muscles and a strength in the muscle. Alignment. And just a few more breaths. Okay, so let's just rest. And we're going to switch the leg now. So just want you to bring your left ankle first. Now feeling both hips are even and aligned. And we're gently not pushing, but we're assisting. We're not pushing, we're assisting. Good. I think now we're working on the left buttock. We're just gently squeezing the left buttock and turning that left knee out from us. Keep the core engaged. 
and deep breathing, feeling comfortable, with feeling relaxed. Breathing in. Breathing in. So just keep going, breathe in, breathe out. So not feeling bad or guilty uh, about doing something, uh, looking after yourself. So see those birds chirping in the morning. Uh, people think they're happy, they're just playing. Um, uh, they are happy, they are playing, but it's exercising their lungs, exercising their body. And when you see closely how they're cleaning their wings, they're, they're cleaning each and every single feather, they're setting up. Uh, have plenty of time to look after themselves and we as a human we are busy doing other things we are busy making money we're busy conquering the world and while we are conquering winning the world impressing the world all we're doing is we're losing ourselves we uh, we're losing us okay so holding here and let's just bring the leg here towards good we don't really need to win the world we just really need to win the mind our own mind good watching our thoughts and creating every time good thoughts happy thoughts and feeling good about ourselves feeling happy inhale exhale so remember that stretch so we're just slowly turning that knee away from us good and if you if you uh, your adductors your inner thighs your groins is so tight uh, you can assist your elbows to push that knee out, okay? And I sort of squeeze that buttock so that you can add a bit more stretch. And I remember people with the good flexibility, you feel your spine's neutral, you're not pushing that spine down. That may be the cause of the pain there. Good. Keep engaging the core, inhaling, exhaling. We're feeling comfortable, feeling, uh, feeling very relaxed. Also a uh, feeling connection. Uh, with each other just uh, think even we not able to see each other while you're doing exercise um, uh, through that positive thinking um, in a connection you're trying to relax me and I'm trying to relax you we should just both helping each other and you know always uh, always uh, suggest me or tell me um, talk to me um, about the uh, the the change we can make, and uh, if you have any new ideas, if you find any mistakes I'm making, we, I'm happy to change a few things. If you really uh, watching, okay. So let's just rest. Beautiful. You're doing good. We we almost done with the back stretch there. So just last one. So just want you to join your feet together and grab your ankles. So always remember both hips are even, grabbing the ankles, hips are parallel. We're just pulling our ankles slightly towards us. Again, squeezing the buttocks, turning the knees out, holding here. Inhale, exhale. And if you have any um, if you have any suggestions for me or if you like to do some different exercises you're interested in um, just send me a message so that we can we can do something uh, different good but this is only uh, this these all exercises only uh, I could bring the knees back and rest to to look after back and hips good one okay let's just turning to the side so you're facing me and I'm facing you and I want you to bring that arm straight like this or you can rest the arm like this so, so no trouble uh, in my case I'm stretching straight and I'm resting my head now in case you have any shoulder injury you can just keep that arm there and just put some pillow or something under so relax okay so bend the top leg and just grab your foot and be holding now what I want to do is just gently push that hip forward. Beautiful. Yeah, just keep pushing that uh, knee forward so your top hip 
is rolling forward. We're pulling a tummy in and we're increasing the stretch on the cord. We're just holding, inhale, exhale. So again, feeling control, feeling comfortable, feeling just relax, uh, just relaxing yourself. Breathing's doing a magic, kind of breathing, you're feeling comfortable, aware, calm, and energetic. So that breathing helping, um, putting our energy back to our body. Inhale, exhale. So that each stretch have to hold uh, for a little to lengthen those tight muscles and releasing, inhale, exhale. Okay, so let's just extend the top leg and then just keep watching, keep following and keep the leg straight and just take that leg back slowly to see how far you can go. Pull the tummy and just keep rolling that top hip forward. So just use that top hand to assist, good one. And take the leg back and then just relax the leg down. Good. So. What this stretch doing is relaxing the hip and relaxing and stretching the ITB and also opening our hip flexor. Now with the top arm, we're taking that arm back. Inhale. Beautiful. And just keeping a tummy in and just reaching that to stretch. Good. Hold. A nice beautiful stretch and you just keep opening keep breathing okay so let's just come back now and I want you to bend your both legs on a 1990. Now, if you're not comfortable with the hips or your hip hurts, you can always put a little cushion to align those hips. So, well, in our case, we're just keeping it together like this. Um, same thing with this stretch. We're not overdoing this stretch, just to increase the flexibility in the spine. Okay, keep the tummy in and bringing both arms forward. We're resting the head on the side. Feeling comfortable, feeling happy and feeling relaxed, so just breathing in, taking arm back as far as you can, but making sure we're keeping the knees together, we're not turning, and exhale and back. Beautiful. Okay, so three more, inhale back, and we're not trying to touch our arm or hand down to the floor, just go as far as you can, so don't force too much, inhale. Uh, I have a wall behind, so I can't go further, uh, but, uh, you see how your flexibility, if your flexibility allows, you can go further. Exhale. Perfect. Now, let's just bring your hand back like this. And then just inhale and turn the top arm back. Exhale and forward. Feeling strong, feeling good. Again, inhale. Exhale. Again. Just two more. Knee and hips not moving, so just moving only from your spine, doing the rotation from your spine. Beautiful. Okay, so slowly curling and just staying there for a little bit and staying there. Rest, breathe in, breathe out. Keep curling and keep bringing your knees, so just sort of stretching that tight back there, looking down and just curling up like a little baby good one okay so pushing on to the hand which is coming up nice let's do the other side now perfect so arms straight good both legs are straight and we're bending a top leg and stretching our quads and a hip good so just want you to roll that hip forward perfect and and just keep tucking the tail in so you're feeling that stretch on um, the front of your thigh good and if you're feeling stretch a little bit here too that's a really good thing and deep breathing so 
So uh, they're going to be at two videos on a supine or the lying down uh, stretches we're doing. You can uh, say this is a Pilates or yoga stretch. Uh, so it's both uh, uh, work. Uh, we, it's going to be at two videos of these. Um, um, the next video is going to be a uh, little more stretches uh, just to give you a few, a few more exercises to release the tight and um, stiff back and hip. Good one. Okay. All right. Now just extend the leg first. Both legs are together. And I want you to roll that top hip forward. So you can keep your hand here so just to help you uh, knowing your top hips are rolling forward. And now, uh, sorry, I'm keeping that hand slightly behind to know I'm not going to allow turning my hip back so just take the leg far as far as you can good and now when you know your bodies want to now move back and it doesn't go you can just rest the foot slowly down and just let go of that tightness on this outside hip good so now you bring that up and slowly take it back perfect hold it See what work with you with the breathing. I'm a nose breather, but because I'm teaching, um, I'm trying to teach you all. Okay, inhale, exhale through your nose. Or inhale. So you have to be comfortable, and you have to enjoy. That's that's the main thing. Okay, let's rest. Legs at ninety ninety. Good, and we're bringing both arms and resting the head. Remember, if you're not comfortable with your neck, you can always use a pillow. Good, okay, so let's just inhale, lift the arm back, and we're looking back, turning head as well. And exhale, we're coming forward. Inhale, we're going back. Exhale, and forward. Breathe in and breathe out. So two more, so that knee and hips are not moving. Exhale. Just slowly keeping a tummy in. Hips are staying aligned, knees are staying aligned. Exhale and forward. Okay, so bending both arms like this. And then just inhale open. Exhale and forward. With that increase and help a bit more with the stretch. nice doing a, such a good job at looking after yourself just keep keep working on staying in a present moment so just the mind like to wander mind like to think mind like to do a few uh, chores for you but just say wait hold on let's let me look after myself first okay and just last one and bring forward perfect all right Nice. All right, let's just lie down on her tummy. Good. <coughs> nice. Okay, so arms are forward. Our feet and knees are staying slightly apart. And we're pushing our pubic bone down, keeping the buttocks tight, pulling the tummy. And just gently pulling a head back first to release and strengthening our neck. Good. Releasing the tightness from the back of the shoulder and back of the neck. So when the back get tight or we get painful, we try to hold our body tight. So through exercise, through movement, all we're doing is we're releasing that tightness, stiffness, and that tension around the neck, the back of the neck, and that will help to release. Okay. So when we're doing lifting hip, we're not pushing onto the arms, the shoulders, just only pulling the head. Okay, so now let's just go a little further up and sort of feel like peeling one rib of the floor at a time, hand down slowly. So 
not too fast just feeling it's the movement coming from the thoracic spine exhale down not from the lumbar so what mostly happens is the thoracic the this back is uh, big vertebrae they get stiff and tight and that's when there's resist restricted movement in the thoracic we try to move too much from the neck and from the lower back and then the lower back overworks and get tight tired painful and then there's injuries and things started starts okay down slowly nice okay so make a diamond with the hands rest the head feet aligned just breathe out with curling the right leg and breathe in down slowly exhale with curling the left leg inhale yep so remember we did that hamstring lengthening stretch and the same way we're doing the cord stretch exhale but what we're doing this time we are using the floor to push our thighs down to the floor and that way we strengthening our, our back of the legs our hamstrings and using that, doing that, we're lengthening our cords and hip flexors. When we're doing, we're making sure we're pushing this part down, keeping it down. So people with the tight hip flexor, they tend to turn the hip and they tend to lift up to stretch because it's too tight. So the focus here is once you start feeling the stretch, you just stop not moving too much. So all we're doing is we're pressing the pubic bone down, keeping this tight and keeping our thighs and hips firm to the floor, so not too much. And the same, now we're going to do the stretch and I want you to hold the leg, so in case um, you're feeling tight there, you can use a towel or strap or tie to hold, so not forcing. Remember that spines are not collapsing, your tummy is not pushing onto the floor, and you hold. Breathe. A few more deep breath. Last two. So just one more. And let's rest. Good. Okay. Let's change. Good. So remember we're pushing our hip down, our thigh, our cord, our knee down towards the floor. And it's not about pulling and trying to touch that heel onto the buttock. It's okay if your legs are here. Um, and if your even leg here, you can use something. Um, and if you can't hold anything, you should just hold the stretch. Uh, keep aligning, keep pushing the hip and keep adding that stretch. So just a few more breaths. Okay, let's just rest the leg. And now we're coming up on all four. Good. Okay, so first of all, our knees are shoulder width apart, feet are close, and we're sitting back onto the heels as far as we can go. Arms are wide, and we're going down slowly to stretch our back, head down, try to relax your back and hips, stay calm, you can rest the arms or you can rest the hands here and just rest that this little bit. Good. Again, to relax the back, not forcing. Good. Okay, we're coming back on all four now and doing the cat stretch. So the knees are under our hips, the feet, knees, hip width apart, hands under our shoulders. We're pulling the shoulder. Inhale, we're looking up, chest up. And exhale, we're curling the back, tucking the tail first. We're just releasing the tightness from the back and head down slowly. Good. Inhale, looking up, chest up. 
and exhale with curling the back. Breathe in. Release all that tightness, the stiffness from your back and your hips. Feel relaxed, feel comfortable. Doing the slow movement. You see when we're going up like this, we're not hyperextending as I'm trying to show, not hyperextending from the lower back. As we're curling, we're not curling too much from the thoracic spine, so we're curling more from the lower back. Just two more now. So, lots of water, um, some sunlight, fresh air, um, also feeling free sometimes from your responsibilities, from your duties. Um, taking that coat out um, and just hang up onto the wall and coat of responsibilities and your role like a role of a mother, role of a sister, role of a brother, role of the boss, head down, rest. Just staying there, just rest here. And I just want you to rest and relax there for a little bit more. Good. Just stay calm. Breathing in, breathing out. Just stay calm. Just keep your head down and feel that blood flow coming down towards your brain, towards your head. Your breathing patterns are changing. You're not breathing as much in your tummy now. The breathing coming up towards your thoracic, middle back, upper back. And feel that breathing is in your spine and your hips. You can, you can any time go back and pick up your role again. Um, role being a teacher, role being a coach, role being a, um, a trainer, role being a, a nice human being, the role being uh, mother, father, son, uh, grandmother, grandfather. But just take them off a little bit and just, just connect back with yourself. We're well, just enjoying the life and just enjoying the movement. Just a few more deep breaths, feel that breathing deeply and 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 full heartedly. So it's just like very heartfully you're breathing in, breathing out, feeling happy, feeling comfortable, feeling confident, and feeling uh, the body's feeling loved and you feeling loved from your body. Uh, we always look others' uh, acceptance, we always look others' love, we always want have others time uh, but we don't like ourselves we always uh, are somehow programmed to keep self denying and we don't listen to us our body our, our mind we just listen for a little while we feel there is a harmony now and a both body and the mind both are satisfied and both are happy and just coming back and all Coming back on all fours slowly. You have to sit back here now. And then just rub your hands, your palms. Feeling happy? Feeling good. Okay, so now place your hands onto your eyes just with a gentle smile. And very good. Thank you very much. And thank you for your time. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Namaste. See you next time.